If you ever want to put a screw into your wall to mount something like a picture or a mirror, or even in this case to hang tools, don't just screw it into the drywall directly like I've done here on these, because that's really weak and it just the drywall is just very brittle and eventually this is going to open up and whatever you hang on these things are going to fall down. What you want is a drywall anchor like I have here installed. Here's a little package. You can get these in any hardware store. And what it basically is, is you first screw in this housing into the drywall and then into that goes the screw. And what happens is this goes behind the drywall and actually spreads out to perform to form a better mount. Hopefully you can kind of see it here in this picture. This is kind of what happens. You screw it into the drywall and then once it goes beyond a certain point and you're screwing in the screw into it, it clicks and then this thing kind of pops open behind the drywall and actually acts as kind of like a claw and holds it there. So this little thing right here is rated to 50 pounds, believe it or not. It says right there, 50 pounds on the package. And uh, it's way stronger than just trying to screw directly something into the drywall. Like you can see here, if I wiggle this, I don't know if you can see it, but these are loose. These are just coming loose. And you know, drywall is very brittle. So you definitely don't want to just screw directly into the drywall, um, you know, like I did previously here. You certainly want to install a drywall anchor and uh, it's very easy to do and I'm gonna go ahead and do that here on this basically I'm just gonna these already have holes so it's easier but you know I'll just basically screw this in with a uh, Phillips number two screwdriver screw it all the way in so it's flush like with the wall and then screw the included uh, screw that comes in the package into it like so you end up with something like that and let me show you what I'm actually doing here with this so I have got a uh, Toro leaf blower here, electric leaf blower sweeper, and I'm just mounting that like that, just like that, and it's a real efficient use of space. You know, as you can see here, I've also got uh, the laundry hamper up here mounted, you know, the same way it has, this laundry ha hamper happens to have holes on it, so, you know, I can use the, I've got screws in the back of, on the wall there, and I can just mount it like that, and it's, I think it's a very efficient use of space. And yes, the washing machine still does open, I will show that to you. So yeah, I, I, so I was careful to measure it, and yeah, the washing machine still opens perfectly fine. and doesn't, you know, see the, the lid here does not interfere with the leaf blower. And, you know, I just think this is a really good, efficient use of space. I can hang this, not have to worry about where I'm going to put it. You know, the laundry box, the laundry, the, the laundry hamper thing here, I can hang, not, not have to worry about it. And it just works out really well. But um, I wouldn't attempt to do this uh, without having the drywall anchor system. Works really well. Now this are, these ones are rated for 50, but they have bigger ones that are rated for 75 and for 100. Uh, those tend to be larger diameter, but for my needs here, 50 is pe perfectly fine. Uh, you know, this thing doesn't even weigh, you know, probably 20, so, you know, I'm pretty much set. Good way to mount things to your wall. See you in my next video.